What's up, everybody? Chewy891 coming at you today with a... We got some news today from Atomic Mass Games. Um, they recently just updated the ban and restricted list. Um, this is definitely a couple of months after the... the uh, I don't know. Actually, I have to find out when the first ban list was posted, actually. I don't remember when the first ban list was posted, but I think it was at the beginning of this year or sometime last year that it was uh, posted but uh yeah i mean they recently updated it and with cards that uh with two cards that i didn't they weren't surprising and again if i'm talking really low it's because it's, you know i have somebody sleeping upstairs and it's seven o'clock in the morning where i'm at uh, so i'm a little tired so my voice is you know just keep it down but yeah um it was funny because a couple of days ago i was in a discord um talking about cards that should be banned or restricted or whatever and it's funny that a couple of days later we get this update and uh i gotta say i like the update and there's one thing here that surprises me and not not that i agree or disagree with it it's just mostly surprising as to why it's here and it's interesting because well let's just get into it so right now what's being added to restricted right now and that means you could only include two components from the restricted list in your roster squads so that means you can only include two of these cards and you have to make up the rest of your game with what you have so here's the deal so what they added here was the uh, panic crisis card so now we're adding crisis cards to the restricted list and that's surprising i didn't think crisis were going to be added at all to the uh, to the to the restricted list or the ban list, this is surprising. Um, just because I didn't think I thought crisis were untouchable, right? And I could see both sides of the uh, coin on this one. People who are for it, people who are against it. I mean, I love this extract. I mean, this crisis a lot. Um, just because of the, you know, you could swing a game however you want. You know, you can extract you know for six power, or get two points, and you know, put the point favor in your for you. Right, and then uh, it at times wins you a game. Right now, um, especially before today's ban, I mean, you could do hired muscle plays, steal, steal citizens. You could do pentagram stuff, steal citizen, and, and just have a huge point swing in your favor. I think they're really trying to hit the the runaway play style that's been happening lately. Um, and of course, with certain teams that just can get a lot of power. So now they're they're not banning it, which is good. It's still playable, but they're like, okay, listen, if you're gonna take it, you need to make a decision. You gotta sacrifice one of these restricted cards that are really good. So that adds an interesting dynamic to the game. It adds in some decision making. I right now I'm a fan of it. After I had, I had some time, to let it stew. Remember, I saw this at seven o'clock this morning, or at six fifty-two this morning, when before my alarm went off and I woke up. <laughs> um, I saw this, and I was like, that's stupid. But as I sat, gave it a couple minutes, thinking about the scenarios, thinking about it, I was like, okay, yeah, right? Um, makes sense. I wonder if other secures or uh, <laughs> crises are going to get put on this list. The one I was thinking about was Gamma Wave because I hate Gamma Wave. Granted, I'm not saying it's broken or anything. It's just it's just one of those play. And I went back and forth in Discord on it. You know, there's pluses and minuses to Gamma Wave. The only reason why I hate Gamma Wave is because it's a king of the hill play style. I'm like, oh, you go here. Oh, you get this point. Yeah, you just... That's all. I mean, it, other than that, I, it, it, it's very... Gamma Wave is very interactive. Um, you can... It, it increases the action. I mean, one of my favorite um, extracts that I've been playing a lot more of is Mystic Khan and Herbs. I love that extract. That is so much fun. It's basically capture the flag... And the amount of interaction in that um, extract is amazing. Because you have to stop the person from getting the herb to their side. Because it's a four-point swing. So you're constantly trying to stop them. And, that, and I love that. And that's what I love about Game Wave 2. Like you have to stop them from going to your point for getting the big point swing. right? So I get it. It's it's just the king of the hill play style. It's a negative for me. I hate it. I wish, it, I wish that play style can be interacted in other maps. <laughs> I guess that's where I'm at. But we'll see. Um... So next thing I got hit was all you've got. This is not a surprise. Um, the, the fact that it didn't make the restricted list the first time was kind of a surprise. But then again, it was a new card that came out. And um, I guess maybe they just didn't see a lot of play with it or something. Or maybe in playtesting, it's just 
I don't know. They said, I think we can get away with this. But basically, before the restricted list, I mean, if you took field dressing med pack, all you've got, um, you know, you can do a turn one Magneto or not turn one. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Um, maybe turn two or three, do a big attack, do all you've got, do another attack, maybe daze another model or two. And then from there, you know, you have somebody within two of you field dressing him back, med pack him. And on top of that, yeah, or... Or med pack him or whatever, or field dressing him because if, if Magneto took no damage, remember, so you get dazed. You don't take damage from all you've got, so you just go to daze. Okay, you just go to daze and that's it. Um, you do field dressing, you're back at that same health and you're fine, you know. So, um, this not surprising at all. So, right now, that's it for the restricted. The big band one right now is hired muscle. Um, I did a video about hired muscle months ago when it came out and i was in, in in that video i was talking about and i was talking about plays what to do against hired muscle and how to counter it there's really not there's only one way to counter hired muscle well, not one way maybe there's one or two but the, the the thing about hired muscle is is that it's it's a point swing that goes in your favor for cheap i mean it's a one power cost you can move civilians within within three within two moving closer to you and get a point advantage I mean, it was it's a really powerful card, and there's a lot of civil, and there's a, a decent amount of civilians, and I forgot the percentages of what civilian uh, secures and extracts during the game. It, it's a decent amount, and if you're moving that many civilians out of your opponent's favor, you're not giving them an opportunity to interact or take it. It, it can create a negative experience, right? Again, it creates that runaway play style or whatever. Um, there being really, there's only one, like one or two ways to counter it. The one off the top of my head is that you have to run hired muscle and then you have to play it. Like, for example, if you're playing panic, right. And you do hired muscle and you take your opponent's citizen, what you would then have to do is, is you would have to play hired muscle and take their citizen just to keep the points parity, right. Just to keep the points the same, you know, at that point, you I mean, now granted, I can see the other side of it is if you do that, right you you know you kind of overextended and you left a model out there to go do that now you can go focus fire on that model and maybe take this the citizen but you know if you don't you know if you do certain setups or you find a way to get your character out of there you know what i mean again it's i mean i don't know i mean i'm, I'm happy it's banned um it should be banned um personally what i would have liked to have seen instead is an errata like, what they should do is an errata for maybe two of these cards here and maybe make some changes. Just like how they did with um, Last Minute Save. Last Minute Save would have really been really, really broken uh, how it's originally worded, but they changed it. Because in the past, um, if you look at the card right now, I mean, if you read it, if you do all you've got, you could then do a Last Minute Save and save your model and give them back one HP and all that other stuff. But they ratted it saying enemy effect instead of, you know, just being dazed or KO'd. I would like to see that with hired muscle. Maybe something like of the nature of you can't play this on turn one. This has to be played on turn two. Or increase the power cost for it, right? Because one power, everybody has a power at the beginning of the turn. Everybody can play this card. Everybody can, especially if you're playing as Guardian. Um, you're playing models that uh, accrue multiple power a turn, right? I mean, Hulk, Ebony Maw, at, I mean, Thor, etc. You know, models like that that can accrue a lot of power. Um, they can just play this card and then extract the sit. I mean, and just take the citizen right then and there. Right now, you gotta. If you're playing Panic and your opponent is not playing Hired Muscle and they're not and they don't understand what Hired Muscle is doing, I mean, that's a three point swing for you. Turn one against your opponent who doesn't know what the hell is going on, right? And from there, I mean, think about your opponents. Like, what the hell just happened? And right now you took a huge point swing, and, you know, you got the lead the entire time, and you're basically saying, ha-ha, you had no idea. You know, just imagine that. So, yeah, this is not a surprise. I'm really happy that this got banned. I just find it funny that, you know, a couple of days ago we were talking about the ban restricted, what is going to be banned or restricted. Um, the cards we were talking about in there, of course, another one is Pentagram. Um, we were thinking maybe it should go to restricted. Um, maybe, maybe they're debating it. I don't know. 
Um, personally, for me, I don't think it will hit restricted or banned. Um, I like the idea of it hitting restricted just because of the decision making you'd have to make for it. Because you got to understand with Pentagram, you can uh, place two portals, um, you know, within one and five, and then spend a power teleport, go into um go into the teleport and go on within five which is a long range it's 10 inches so you can teleport within 10 inches go to your opponent's side and maybe steal a point no not maybe you will steal a point and you know especially one of the one of the funny plays right now i mean one of the cool plays right now not funny is a hulk on cosmic cubes you can do that right you can do pentagram and now there's a combination with high advanced r d now maybe Maybe the reason why it hasn't been restricted is because you need a certain, you need to do two, you need to have two cards to do this on turn one, right? You need to play advanced R and D, and then you need to play pentagram. That's turn one, and then from there you teleport Hulk, go in, steal your opponent's cosmic cube, steal the middle cube, and then take your cube and Hulk's back to your side of the map with three cubes with a way to generate power. Now you have to focus fire on Hulk to get away because that's a three point swing. Um, and now once you start your next turn, you take your other cube on your other side. It's a four-point swing, right? So it's a four-point swing in your favor plus secure. So let's say, for example, you're playing the cubes with, like, I don't know, Mutant Mad Men. You steal two. You, you know, you do your thing on your side of the field. That's technically six. That's six points that you will have on your on turn one. It's a six-point swing compared to a two. Your, your opponent's now on the back foot with a four-point disadvantage, and you have to find a way to focus fire on a Hulk. Right, which is easy to do, but again, you have to overextend and take Hulk and take three extracts. How I mean, but at that point in time, when you're overextending, like, what's your opponent doing to those models? Right, like, what it just it it, it the, the pentagram is, is an interesting one, and that might be talked about next. Um, personally, I don't think it should get banned because it's a character specific card, only two people can use it, which is Doctor Strange. Which is and Wong. Those are the only two characters that can use this character specific. I know they've talked about character specific cards not hitting the ban list. I don't know about restricted. We don't see any character cards yet on restricted. I don't think they will. Um, but that one might be the exception. You know. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, I do like what I see here. Um, I'm very, very surprised to see a crisis on the restricted list. All you've got's not surprising. Glad's not banned. It's going to be used. It's just going to hit restricted. I do I like that. Hired Muscles ban, not a surprise at all. Anyway, in the description down below, if you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Hired Muscle, I will have the video that when I talked about Hired Muscle and what it does and possible counterplays and how I would use it. Um, that's in the description down below. Go ahead and take a look at that and you'll see what I'm talking about and you'll see the philosophy I get into. Basically, if you ever played League of Legends, uh, think of it as stealing your opponent's red buff and then taking their blue buff. And then you going to your side. Right? So like if you go and steal your opponent's red buff and they don't know any better, you're gonna take either you're gonna take the red buff and go back down to your blue or red, take your blue or red, you're gonna be up three buffs to their one. Basically, think about it that way. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for me. Chewy891. Uh I just wanted to get this video out there. Uh, very surprising. Um uh, did not expect the band restricted list today um i was maybe expecting maybe next month or june or something when certain models came out right now this came out and this is really good i can't wait to play the game with this kind of list um uh, with, with this banner restricted it's gonna be awesome um and that's it yeah very, uh, sorry it's uh <laughs> if i sound uh, tired or whatever it's seven o'clock in the morning I, guess I gotta get started for work and all that and i just want to get this video out there it's the only time i can do it anyways guys thank you very much uh definitely like the video if you like the video dislike the video if you dislike the video um subscribe to my channel we'll have more mcb content um i'm hoping to see mr center subscribe today we'll see i don't know um like i said down below in the description you will see my video about hired muscle you go ahead and watch that enjoy yourselves and uh that's it have a wonderful friday guys take care have a wonderful blessed day be safe out there have a good one